So in today's video, we are going to be supplementing on this Dollar Tree sequin stocking pillow. It's a little cute little stocking similar to the other pillow I did recently. So we're going to be supplementing on the silver side, but instead of a picture, like a photograph, we're going to be doing a vibrant cartoon picture. So we're going to see if you can see this much better on it than the family photo. So if you want to see how I do that, just keep watching. If you're new to my channel, my name is Leslie. My channel is all about crafting on a budget. I do supplementation, cricket, and kid craft videos. So if any of those things interest you, don't forget to subscribe. We're almost at 700. I don't know if by the time this video posts, we're more than that. But thank you so much for your support. And hit the bell notification button so you'll be notified every time I upload. And let's get started with the video. Okay, so now we're gonna tape our design. So I'm gonna take off this the tag and we're gonna turn all our sequences this way so I'm making sure I got every sequence this way the edges are honestly the hardest part to get turned so I'm not going to honestly fight with them if they don't want to turn. So I'm going to pre-press this and it will be good because it will help flatten them out. But not only that, it will help prevent ghosting like I've said before. So let me pre-press it and also it will give me some time to get my pressure right so that when I go to sublimate it, I'm not risking getting ghosting from lifting up the heat press so much okay so i'm just gonna flip it can make sure all of these are facing the right way okay I'm just going to tape it, which will be a little harder to tape because it's so thick. This is way thicker than the, the other pillow I did, if you remember that one. Okay, so I'm going to flip it and we're going to take it to the heat press. Okay, so I'm going to take it to the heat press, take it, and take my craft paper. And I'm just gonna press it. 400 degrees for 60 seconds. Okay, I'm gonna hold it down and lift up a corner to see. Okay, which is kind of hard to do. Yes, it is. Oh, that is so cute. Oh, I love it. That's so cute. So cute. It kind of got on the fur though, so next time, I have to tape the fur, for sure. So this is how it turned out. I think it turned out super cute. The colors look way better than I thought they were going to look. So here's my tip. My tip is to tape the top part with heat tape because as you can see, I got some sublimation ink on the white part. So tape that white part. Um, but if you do get it on there, you can trim it, trim the, the fur a little bit, but tape it so that you don't accidentally get some ink on there but i think it looks so cute little kids will love this this could be like a little stocking stuffer or like a little gift and it's like a little surprise look at that like a little surprise so much fun the sequences on this pillow i don't know if it's a fluke or something they just flow so much better than the other pillow that i did the remember the square one these flow so much better like it's so much easier to do them so 
this was a hit i love how this one turned out so much better than the other one so let me know down below if you guys have tried the dollar tree sequin pillows and how they turned out what kind of design you did let me know down below if you have not already don't forget to subscribe don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the bell notification button so that you can be notified every time i upload and continue to watch the 10 days of craftmas there are a lot of dollar tree sublimation videos coming pretty much all of them are dollar tree sublimation videos so keep your eye out and if you don't know what 10 days of craftmas is i will be uploading 10 days in a row leading up to christmas including christmas so keep your eye out for those videos and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys so please excuse my appearance right now i am editing and i realize i never gave you the giveaway rules they were in the bottom they're in the description box so make sure to look they were in the bottom of the first video in the 10 days of craftmas so the giveaway starts on december 16th so it already started by the time you're watching this and it ends on december 26th so the day after christmas is your last date enter and here are the rules you have to be subscribed to my youtube channel you have to be following me on Instagram at EdenGraysDesigns.co. It will also be linked down below. And you got to be following my Facebook page at LeslieIrene.xoxo. And most importantly, you got to be commenting and liking on every single video in these 10 days of Craftmas. I will be checking and you need to do all of those in order to be entered into the giveaway. And yeah, good luck. Thank you guys for supporting me. I cannot believe that we are almost at 800. I'm not sure if by the time this video goes live, if we are at 800, we might be. But thank you guys so much for your support. It means so much to me. And this giveaway is just a little way of me giving back to you guys, for you guys supporting me. Look, I'm getting emotional. This is just my way of giving back a little bit. It's not a lot, but... Thank you so much for supporting me. It means so much to me and I love you guys and good luck.